Wednesday, September 6th, 340 Mountain Time, 2017. Two major X-class solar flares erupted from the surface of the sun this morning. They're only reporting one, but the chart shows two. An X-1 and an X-9-3. Major events, some that we haven't seen for quite a while. The ionosphere reacted immediately. It sent shock waves through the solar system. But I'm here to tell you, Earth is going to be fine. This has happened before, and in fact, it's happened before in much greater fashion than an X-10. An X-10 is very respectable. It's probably in the top 20, and Earth is going to be fine. This happened back in 2003. I'm at spaceweather.com. Uh, there are archives going back in time through the time machine. You can go back to October 29th, October 30th, 2003, and you can see for yourself X-10 exploded off the surface of the sun. Look at the sun. Looks reminiscent of today, doesn't it? Very, very active. They issued um, aurora alerts for sky watchers at all latitudes. And the same applies now. Don't be surprised if you see auroras deep in the lower latitudes. It's very possible. It happened back then, and it could happen again. Don't be surprised if you see more X-class solar flares, because this is locked and loaded, I'm telling you. The blues and reds are positive and negative mag magnetics. When they mix like that, that's a, a recipe for an X-flare. No doubt about it. Earth is responding accordingly. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. That tells you that your shields are working. That's a good thing. So it's all good, and Earth is going to be fine. This is the instrument I follow out of Japan. Anytime you see bright light on there like that, there's the X-flare right there. Anytime you see bright light like that on here, it's a big deal. In fact, that's the M-flare. They haven't released the uh, X-flares yet. Because they probably overwhelmed the instrument. They may have, well, no, they have them. This is a ground-based instrument, believe it or not. This is ground-based. So they've got the data. I did manage to pull one up here on the SDO, and you can see that there was a series right there. Almost looks like three X-flares, but at least two. Watch right here. And there could be more. Very impressive. And we haven't seen that in many, many years. ACME is supposed to interact with Earth anytime. So be prepared for auroras between now and October 8th. I'm sorry, not October 8th. We're not in October yet. September 8th. And don't be surprised if you see more X flares. A lot of activity going on right now. Energy is flying high. Uh, we got major hurricanes, major solar flares, and we're just missing one other type of major energy, and hopefully that'll stay put for now. But in the meantime, it's going to be good. Your shields are holding up fine. This is normal. This is how it's supposed to react. An X-10 is big. It's a very respectable solar flare, but it's happened many times. Well, not many, but it has happened in the past, and it has happened in much more dramatic fashion. So, as they said back in 2003, sky watchers at all latitudes should be alert for auroras in the coming days. That's what they said then, and that's what we'll say now. But Earth's in good shape. Earth will be fine. But those were very impressive solar flares. Um, not necessarily a surprise based off of what we're seeing right here. That is a very active, strong magnetic region facing Earth. So expect more. Check out my, my buddy's uh, YouTube channel here, PS4 Prodigy Gamer. He's trying to get his channel off the ground. I appreciate you guys subscribing. That did already. You rock, and uh, it means a lot to me. It really does. I'm going to post his link in the description box of this video. If you don't mind, show the kid some love. Go over and subscribe to his channel and help him out. It helps his confidence, and I appreciate it greatly. Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, be safe out there.